wrap it up. What's good, good people? Hey, hopefully everybody's doing well. Welcome to the channel with the Fragrance Ninja. And I got to thinking not too long ago as I was putting this on today and what I'm wearing today, Bond number nine, Andy Warhol, the discontinued with the face. And I got to thinking, what fragrances did I consider Hall of Fame fragrances? Because this is definitely one of them. And the reason being, I started thinking of some of the stipulations that I put on it. And one being, essentially, like if this was a basketball player, uh, <clears throat> kind of like when uh, Steph Curry came to the league, he basically redrew the three-point line. Before Steph Curry, certain three-pointers that he was taking was a bad shot and hated on by all the old heads. This is kind of what that fragrance was because no one really seriously considered plum note like that. And this has the plum with the oud combination, which at the time to me was, right, it was revolutionary. It was like, wow, plum and oud and vanilla and so on and so forth. So a sweet plum, <clears throat> basically just fragrance lasts all day long. And it was like nothing I'd ever smelt when it came out. And it came out in 2011. Shortly, shortly after that, it was followed up by uh, Tom Ford, Plum Japanese. And that is the basically the sincerest form of flattery, is two years later, someone makes something just like it. And is it just like it? Not exactly. It's close, as I said before. I mean, you might be in the house, you're just not in the bedroom, but you know, this is in the bedroom. This is the winner. And um, also, Duo Fragrances actually made a you know uh inspire inspiration of this i guess you would say but uh that also flattery because they thought good enough of it to basically make a somewhat of a clone of it and he named it iconic but back to the discontinued part <clears throat> when you think about the discontinued game i hate the discontinued game but i get it i understand why it exists this one, a little different, because I, I think I read a long time ago that this was discontinued basically because of some agreements with the Andy Warhol estate that they couldn't use his image anymore or something like that. If that's the case, take this formula and put it in a different bottle, rename it. I mean, you got Bleecker Street, uh, Coney Island, hell, call it uh, Plum Street, call it Plum Island. Yeah. Hey, isn't Plum Island in New York? Hey, if you do that, give me my cut. Seriously, I ain't joking. <laughs> but yeah, call it Plum Island and just rebottle it. Put another image on it, whatever. Bring this back, please. And if there's other roadblocks, I mean, so be it. But man, I'm squeezing onto this bottle until it hollers. I mean, I just, I wanna be able to buy a second bottle, but the price is outrageous now for this to where you have to go with something that smells like it. But this is one of my Hall of Fame fragrances when it comes down to it. Yeah, absolutely. Andy Warhol, bar number nine, with the face. Whew, man. Yeah, I know what she's saying. Yeah, I did. I did. I matched the shirt. I matched the shirt with the bottle. It happens. Sorry. But that's all I got. Hey, until next time, y'all hey, be good.